You may remember this object and mysterious ring that appeared over the skies of Oklahoma earlier this month, and it is far from the only unidentified object caught on camera. In 2019, this image captured of a triangular-shaped UFO in California, the Navy listing this object as unknown. Then in October of 2018, the so-called jellyfish UFO tracked near a U.S. base in Iraq, prompting national security concerns. In 2015, this craft was seen by USS Theodore Roosevelt, another UFO caught on camera by the military. And USS Nimitz tracking this Tic Tac UFO in 2004 from a Navy fighter jet before it reappeared 60 miles away on radar. Back in 2006, 12 United Airlines staff, including pilots, saw a UFO over O'Hare International Airport in Chicago. Now, the FAA denied, or rather refused to look into it, calling it a weather phenomenon. And now under a new law, airline pilots will now have a new way of reporting strange, unidentifiable objects in the sky. The new bipartisan bill requires the FAA to investigate any UFO sightings. I spoke with Wisconsin Congressman Glenn Grothman about why this new UFO transparency bill is so important. Well, in the past, people could never be sure if there'd be revenge taken at them, if they'd be quite frankly referred to as crazy for imagining something like this. So now we're saying not only pilots, but air maintenance people, flight attendants, anybody else, air traffic controllers, can report these phenomena without having people without worrying that revenge is going to be taken on them. And quite frankly, it was a problem in the past because some people who just didn't believe in them thought that it might show that you have a mental problem. But you look at what you have there up on the screen. Is it important that the Department of Defense look into this and see exactly if there's any possible explanation for what's going on here? Yeah, and, and you, you're talking about potential retaliation. Did you hear any specific stories or testimony from people who say... No, but they... we, we certainly heard that people are afraid of speaking out. We heard that from the pilots who, who saw things both over the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. If a commercial airline pilot sees something they can't explain, under this bill, they can report it to the FAA, and then what happens from there? Well, they have to investigate it, see if they can find an explanation. It's important to be done on a timely basis, which I think, quite frankly, sometimes in the past was not done. Or even worse, uh, air personnel were even afraid to report it in the first place, or fear that people would say, oh yeah, there's Joe, you know, who, who knows what he's imagining. How does one ensure that the FAA's investigation will be rigorous, that it won't simply be written off as a weather phenomenon like in the past? Well, first of all, we have the Inspector General, which overlooks all government agencies. They'll be looking into this. And I think the public sentiment after we held these hearings is such that it's something Congress is going to, or at least the head of the committee that I'm on, is going to look into every couple of years. Can I ask, what do you think these objects are? Human-made, something more? Do you have any opinion? Well, it could be anything, right? Uh, obviously, it's nothing that we're being told about. Is it something our Department of Defense or the military of other countries have developed, who knows? We are going to have some more private briefings on this topic, and we'll see if we can learn a little bit more at that time. I know you heard testimony from several officials in that July hearing on UFOs. What did people describe? What was the reaction? Well, it was uh, the public clearly feels we're not being told enough. I mean, I hold a hearing every couple of weeks. There are several hearings every day in Congress. And I'll tell you, I can't think of a hearing that I have chaired, a subcommittee hearing, that has received so much interest. As I go around my district again and again, I hear more questions from people and people coming up to me with their own tales of hearing of UFOs or unidentified phenomena. I know many people were disappointed by the version of the UFO records bill that was signed and released. Do you think that your bill will help in terms of transparency? Oh, I think so, because I think we're going to hear from more of these instances in the first place. And the more instances that are made public, the more instances the FAA is able to look at, the more we're going to learn. Representative Glenn uh, Grothman, appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. Glad to be on the show. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.